Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to episode 17 of Space Engineers. So I've never showed you a beginning of a project, and there is a lot of discussion going on on the group thread about storage and devising out supplies and how to to reach the far ends of the galaxies. How would you dish out supplies and keep your empire rolling? Well, today I'm going to build a central hub supply base. I found this nice asteroid that has this ridge all around the edge, so we've got some good cover and we can hide it within the center. We also, in here, have this very nice little cavern here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to excavate, excavate it, and basically we're going to have the base and the storage area inside the asteroid. Okay, so I'll join you back in a moment's time. Welcome back. So we've got a big job ahead of us today. It's going to be a lot of mine work. So I've called in the Bumblebee Mark 1. It's a mining ship that's in wide supply across this great empire. You can tell why it's called the Bumblebee. Interesting fact about the Bumblebee itself is actually it's not actually yellow, it's actually green. Now I'm just completely fucking with you. It's not green at all. Of course the Bumblebee is yellow. But we're going to get mining. So let's begin. I'm going to do a quick cut after this and then I'll cut to more and more process. So in we get. I've just got to make our way through all these blades. Test the spin up. There we go. So the first objective is to make this hole bigger. So let's start up. Of course we're going to have a little bit of lack of frustration because this asteroid has been here for centuries. So this is going to be the main shaft into the catacombs. So we're going to need to make it to fit a little elevator. big enough let's pull out and check right so we've got a little bit of a ridge form in here but we need to make it a bit more square but we've got a circular point too so that may be hard So there we have, we have the entrance hole for our lift. Let's let's go inside now, the bumblebee should be big enough to fit in. Well, it should be able to fit in. Alright, so we're inside now, we, now we need to straighten ourselves out. Alright, so we've got a lot of work ahead of us in here, if we want to mine this out and turn this into a storage facility. First thing that's going to have to go is this center reservation thing. So, in the catacomb we have this reservation in the middle, so we're going to have to start working on this now. Let's get rid of this. All I can see is rubble. Let's move back and forth. Imagine a whole army of workers doing this. Think how cool it would be, how fast you could get a base out in one of these asteroids if you've got six or seven people. That's what's going to make multiplayer so exciting. So we're just drilling this center part out. So we're going to have a lift shaft that comes into here. We're going to flatten out the floor as well so we can get maximum efficiency out of it. So it's quite a big job, so I'm going to cut back later. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I'm back. The process has gone very well, but I've run into a little bit of a problem. My drills have basically got so heavy and filled with rock that my ship doesn't have enough power to carry it, so we're going to have to work out some way of getting rid of this rock. So we'll have to move that over to us. We'll have to get into the other drills and actually carry this out. So. We've got one drill open, we have another drill entrance here, and we can take that, and we have two other drills to empty. So emptying these should improve the, efficient, the, the efficiency of our ship, because the weight of the rocks was actually slowing it down to a rate that it was nearly impossible to actually control it. So we've got one last drill to check out, and the control panel is just here, behind this light. Hmm. Did not think of that in the building stage. Anyhow, we'll get rid of that. So we've got 7.74 Ks worth of rocks. And you can tell it's affecting my jetpack because I'm drifting all over the place. So we have to get out of here now. And the entrance is just over here, I believe. I may be wrong. I may be lost inside of this place forever. Okay, so yeah, the entrance is over here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. 
Right, so what we need to do is either work out a ship or something to drop this inside and then carry it away, or we need to make a dumping pile of stone. So for the first to go, I'm going to dump this here, but then I'm going to work out a way of actually pushing it away. So let's get up our inventory again. So we've got 7.7k of stone. Let's drop that. Okay, so we have an asteroid there. Well, we've made a miniature asteroid of 7.7k, and that's just drifting off into space to hit some unlucky, unlucky person. <laughs> oh, imagine that. You, some guy's mined a whole asteroid out. He's got about 70 clusters of them, and then they're just floating off into space and take out your space station or spaceship. Oh, God, this game's going to be good on multiplayer. Anyhow, I've got to get back to building. I'll see you shortly. Right. So, I've run into possibly a problem. You can see how much I've actually excavated. It's actually a lot of stuff. You've got stones going everywhere. And that's what I'm worried about. Will these stones stop me from constructing stuff? I can pick them up, but there's over probably about 100 stuff. Well, there's more than 100 in here. Well, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. So, we're going to try building through the stones and see if everything works. So, let's build a new station. Oh, no. Oh no, this is not good. I'm going to try fixing this, and if that involves picking up every single stone, I may have to do that. No. Right, I'll see you shortly. Right, so we thought we had a problem. We thought we had a problem, okay. So I found an easier way of fixing the problem. These small rocks that are bouncing around are affected by the gravity generator, so watch this. How cool is that? They all just fall out of the ground, and we can make a quick pickup, or we can ignore them completely. Good thinking. Smart move. Smart, smart move. Who knew we'd run into so many construction issues? Right. Well, I've either got a lot to pick up, or a lot of building to do, so I'll see you shortly once again. So, welcome back. I've got a lot to show you this time. So, I've begun building the layout for the actual underground storage facility. So, I'll just take you around what I've actually constructed so far. So, welcome. Just look how awesome it is. I've, I, well, well, in my opinion anyway. But, it's just, I've been trying to get that feeling, you know, from Alien. So, if we take a jetpack off, we can have a look around. So, in here is the gravity generator room and ventilation hatch. So, that goes up there. And the rest of the place has not yet been added with much equipment and so on, but I will add it in very shortly. But let's take you around the rest of the place anyway. So these are more storage halls. Through there, we have an emergency escape pod entrance that will be featured in that little hole there. As you can tell, there's a lot of drilling going on. And basically, I've just been refining this place with little bits of the using the small drill to just to get the cracks out. So, down here, we have a large storage area once again, so it's all the way down there. I've still got a bit of clearing to do. We've also got a hole in the bottom. I'm thinking, I don't know about you, what you think, is opening this up and having it for a hole for ships to come in and basically store so they can hide while they're offloading stuff onto the ship. So, we've got another entranceway here, and basically this entranceway is going to be down to a lift, and the lift is basically just going to be another entrance hole where you can carry cargo up. I'm going to build a crane, a magnetic crane, that will basically take things off the ships below and lift it up into here. And then we might have some honey badgers that transport things around. So let's continue on over here. So I've just started adding these crates just to represent how I'd store the stuff. Obviously, I think we need to label it, so I'm going to put some labels up like section 4B. And then I might do some color coding as well. So, I'm going to take you to the command and control center here. So, imagine here there'll be a security door so people can't get through here. And basically, now we're entering into the actual main passageway into the security room. Basically, this is the room where, uh, say the station's under attack or something's gone wrong, this is where people will go to and control the situation. Also, this will be where supplies are being dispatched from. So, say um, one of the planets or one of the army units needs such and such a supply, they'll put a request in, it'll reach these guys in this control room. The control room will then relay it down into the actual facility where we'll actually get the supplies en route to whoever needs them. So there'll be control panels and lots of other stuff here. But I've got a lot of construction to do. I've got some more elevators to build. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer episode than usual. But I've got elevators, um, cranes. Oh my god, this is going to take forever. Right, I'll see you in a bit then. 
Right, so I've completed a lot of the tasks that I wanted to do to really make this place look really nice inside. But I've got a few questions for you, and I'll take you around and show you the little modifications that I've done. So here we are. We're in the actual crater on the surface. And I was wondering, right, I'm going to add a little cap on the top. Should I build, like, any other structures in this crater, or should I keep everything inside so it's, like, really small and compact? But anyway, let's show you the lift, and we'll go down, and I'll show you the construction. So, I, I took a bit of inspiration as well from B Black Mesa, as well as the Alien films on this one. So, let's put a lights on, and let's, let's lower down into what I call Area 1. So, this is Area 1, otherwise known as the Blue Area. So we're lowering ourselves down now, and the ground floor is just below us, so I'm just going to cheat and use third person, and it should be stopping anytime soon. So I'll put a bit more dividing walls in, and I was thinking about adding some labs as well for also my torpedo testing and all the different things that we're going to need to work on in the Empire. So I've basically, if we continued on through down here, I've added some more containers, but let's drop and drop the jetpack off. So basically, I've added a few things on and off. I'm running quite slowly because I changed the gravity settings. And basically, in here, you've got the similar sort of things. But I've added these. And I've added these just, obviously, to look nice. And you see this one that's a bit twisted because I'm still working on it. Basically, the hide to the command and control room is going to be behind this structure. And basically, what I can do is I can use this ship behind it strain it up and actually pull it tight towards the command and control room. So let's go in the command and control room anyway because I've got some more little things to add you. So um, obviously I've got these nice little lights on the, the tunnel. Basically the lights if you want to know are just a small ship with a power gener on, uh, generator on top with a light turned on. So now this is the new entrance to the command bunker. So we can imagine having this door. I'm thinking about doubling the doors up for added security. Inside here, we now have like a server room area, so these could be servers or something, I don't know. And there we have the command and control sort of radar dish, well dish, like sort of, you know like they have them big monitors in these places, where they have all the information and so on, so people can just quickly ray it. And here we have um, a table, and we have some like monitor things that I've built there, as well as some standardized sort of cockpits. Right, let's get back on out through here, we also have a medical room there. I want to show you now a little bit of something that I was thinking about. So you guys were talking about how you'd use this as like a, you know, a sort of central command hub, or you could even use it as just a supply dump, and you could have asteroids all throughout the region like this, and you could have them all over the place, and it just it makes a great place. The only problem is, is it's a lot easier to, man, I don't know, maybe they're not. I'm, I was, I'm debating saying that they're a lot easier to get in than an actual ship or um, a space station, but a space station on top of the surface is pretty easy to access. So let's continue on through here. I also had a concept idea about how to build a gravity gun. Okay, you saw them stones, how they were affected by the gravity. And if you're, any, if you're smart, you can understand what I'm thinking about how to build a gravity gun. Right, so I've got these little chambers that I'm calling, and I can either use them for transport ships, to transport out actual supplies or I could use them as a fighter place or fighters or drop pods or sort of like things where my ships can launch from so I'll just take you inside here so basically I'm gonna leave this up to you as well should I build in here for these little launch holes ships that transport cargo or should I build like fighters I don't know I'll leave that to you I've got another one of these little pods as well I'm also gonna color code them and, and label things with signposts once I've got that but yeah, this place is coming on very well. So thanks for watching today's episode. It was a bit long and a bit staggered out, but I wanted to show you the process behind actually building something in a bit more of a stage by stage, rather than just showing you the finished product for once. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.